welcome to episode se 6 right, there we <laughs> of my uh, Gothic 2 playthrough, the third run, the path of Beliar, aka the Fire Maboshi. In uh, this particular episode, we're gonna go to the city of Corinus and take care of things like the bandits and the mercenaries on Akil's farm along the way. And uh, it gets you to the city of Corinus to deliver the message to Lord Commander Lohagen. <laughs> and uh, uh, go to either Jarkandar or to the valley. I think I will go to Jarkandar first, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. So we'll see. I have magic at my disposal. Uh, mana runs. Nah. Um, I'll keep bow and crossbow just in case for now. Until uh, I have a bit more mana, better spells, etc. How's it going? You're asking me that? I put all my hopes on you and you left me in the lurch. Now I've got nothing left but alcohol. And it's all your fault! That's not what I heard. I can explain everything. Save your cheap excuses. You lie every time you open your mouth. Now leave me alone. You're asking me th now. Watch what you're saying there. Yeah, go ahead and threaten me. It won't do you any good. I'll tell the whole world what a hypocritical bastard you are as soon as I finish this bottle. Now get out of my sight, you disgust me! You're out now. Here, five gold pieces for you. Five coins? You're giving me five coins to make up for destroying my life? I'll take all your gold! You're asking now. All over again. You do about it. I and do what you want. That's not what I heard.
All right, here we go versus the bandit. Deserve that low life. Thanks for the gold, you hero. I think I had better take this weapon. Ready. I will get that stuff. Gonna rip you to peace. Oh. Ah. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. It's bugged on the knees. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Right, so the bandage has been taken care of. Now Akio's farm. That'll only cause more trouble. I've got no time for things like that. Everything all right? Mm, as soon as anyone says anything wrong around here, the dance starts. So watch your step or there'll be a slaughter. Will you join the fight? I'm not just going to stand here when the ruckus starts, but I'm not going to push it either. I won't be treated like that. Is there a problem? Uh, no. No, everything's fine. Uh, it would be better if you left now. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
everything's fine. You, uh, uh I, I can't talk to you now. Who told you that? Those cutthroats are threatening my husband. We are citizens of the town, myself. loyal to the king, and the mercenaries are planning to rob us. Now don't That's you just exactly stand there, do it. something, help us. It had to happen sooner or later. Whatever it is that brought you here, you had better forget it and hit the road. I couldn't care less. Nothing's going to change about that. Can't hey, Yoko! Have you lost your way? Go back to your field and pull up a few turnips! Do I look like it was his decision, wasn't it? Hey, you I've only come to fetch something. So are we, and we were here first. So piss off, or I may have to hurt you. You had your chance, but you all right. Silly bastard. Thank Innes. I thought my time had run out. My name is Akil. I've farmed this humble Thanks piece of land. Gold. Who were you those people? Hero. Those were mercenaries from Onar's farm. I think I'd better take those this way. Bastards don't know anything but plunder and murder. I'd been fearing the worst. Well, thank Innes it didn't come to that. Tell me, what can I do for you? Nothing. Just as long as you got through this all right. You're an exceptional fella. May Innes guard you on your way. Have you heard anything about missing citizens? Don't make me laugh. Heard of them? Some of my own people are missing. Tonak and Telbor used to work on my fields until three days ago. And I know exactly that they wouldn't up and leave the farm just like that. And yet they've simply vanished and no one can tell me where they went. If you happen to find out what's become of them, be sure to let me know, will you? What did the mercenaries want from you? You don't know that? Onar, the landowner, hired them. They guard his farm and collect the rent for him. And that means they go from farm to farm and take whatever they want. And whoever can't pay gets a taste of their steel. Baltram sent me. I'm supposed to pick up a shipment for him here. So, you're his new messenger. Okay, I've already made up the package. You know your way around this area? Sure. What do you want to know? Where can I find Onar's farm? Just go back down the stone steps and follow the road to the east. At some point, you come to a tavern. From there, you go farther east until you come to the big fields. That's where the mercenaries hang out. What is that tavern to the east of here? Ask Randolph. He knows more about it than I do. He's been there a few times. What is there in the woods behind your farm? There's just a whole bunch of monsters back there. And the wolves are the least dangerous. A few bandits are also said to have their caves there. Well, they've left my farm alone so far. I've got to go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. What? Wait a minute. Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over now. What I could use now is a good drop in the tavern. You're not from around here, right? I come from the Southern Isles. At some point they said they needed people in Corinnus because of that magic ore. But when I got there, they had this huge barrier in place, and I didn't want to go in there, so I started working in the harbor. Well, the ship stopped coming in, and so I went to work for Akil. I've had worse jobs, actually. You hang out in the tavern? That's right. But not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. What exactly is going on there in the tavern? There's gambling there. 
The two fellows compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. But somehow, I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he could lace my beer all he wants. If I only had enough money to compete against him one more time. Hey, you! Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you defend yourself against Onar's tyranny? For us farmers near the city, it makes more sense to stay on the good side of the city militia than to rely on Onar's mercenaries. On the other hand, there's Bengar and Sekub who would rather give up their farms than work for the king. Where do I find the farms of Bengar and Sekub? They're not far from the farm where the landowner lives. Go east from here and you'll find them. Haven't you ever considered moving away from here? It's not easy to get away from this part of the country. All the land is walled in by a high, insurmountable chain of mountains. The only two ways out of here are the pass to the Valley of Mines and the harbor. Since we cannot afford passage on a ship, and the Valley of Mines is a place of no return, we're going to have to stay here. What do you know about the pass? I've never been there myself, but it must be somewhere near Bangar's farm on the high pastures. Look out for your husband. I shall do my best. Alright, so let's quickly take care of these uh, brothers as well as the thief in the case. Hey, of you! Who are you? My name is Enem. I'm one of the field hands. And the half pot over there is my brother Egil. We've been working here on the farm for Akil for several years. How's the field work going? Do you want to help? There's another hole back there. Grab it and then head for the field. You just have to make sure that the field raiders don't surprise you. They'll tear your arm right off with one bite. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? I've killed more of them than I can count. The only problem is they keep coming back. What's up? It's been a long time since we've seen a stranger on our land who didn't want to skin us. I hope I'm not wrong about you. I'm Agil, and the strange bird over there is my brother Anim. How's the field work going? Great, if those miserable field raiders weren't constantly destroying our harvest. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? You're joking. Since I've been on this farm, I've killed so many of the beasts that I've lost count. But alas, new ones keep coming. Your brother tells a similar story. Ah, what exactly does he say? That he has also done away with plenty of field raiders. What? That loser can't even find his way home by himself. Tell him he shouldn't brag like that. Hey! Your brother thinks you're a braggart. What? He's actually got the nerve to say that? He'd better watch out or I'll teach him a lesson. Go and tell him that. Enem is a bit irritated about this thing. He shouldn't puff himself up so much, else I'll tear his head off. Tell him that. Hey! In Gothic. I think the two of you should just relax. The bastard didn't give in, am I right? I'll tear out his guts. Tell him that. Why don't you tell him yourself? I'll do that. Oh my God!
Not bad. Thanks for the gold, you hero. I think I'd better take this weapon. Wait a minute. Haven't you done enough damage? I think you should go now. I didn't do anything. I just delivered the message. Oh, my head. Well, at least we know who did the most field rate field raider killing. Here goes the bandits for uh, the stinking ladder. Alright, so let's continue to the city. Nothing there.
Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From one of the farms. A farmer, eh? Hmm. Then you shouldn't be walking along these dangerous paths all by yourself. Who knows who might be lying in wait for you? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Just assuming I would fall back on your help, uh, how much would that cost me? I am merely a humble servant of the king and would not enjoy fleecing a helpless little citizen of the realm. But you know, if you put it like that, I wouldn't object to a little financial backing to promote our future business relationship. Ten gold coins should do for starters. What do you think? Why not? Here's your ten coins. Terrific. If you need my help, you know where to find me. But please do me a favor. Don't come to me with any trifles. I can't stand that, you hear? Yes, yes, I hear. He simply talks to you. All right, so let's waste 1,000 hey. gold pieces. If I have not seen it with my own eyes. You don't if I can, that is, already think I did it, apparently. I can't take your I took your statuette to the monastery, so you can relax now. Who says That's things like that? Good news. May Inos protect you. Tell her a thing take this on. as a small token of my gratitude. Do son. Work. I don't believe that. Already did, apparently. Someone's gotta do the work. Ah, there you are again. Who says things like that? Show me your wares. And he works all then day, Then I'm going to waste a thousand gold pieces with And he works all day, too. Just to see what happens. Because, and he uh, works all day, too. With Darren the Fire Mage, it will give These stats. These are bad times. Permanent stats like mana. These are bad times. Don't tell this to anyone. And it's going to get even worse. And he works all day, too. You don't say. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Someone's got to do the work. These are bad times. And he works all day, too. Someone's got to do the work. Now I'm gonna give Boltrum's package to Nagur um, because uh, Boltrum's payment is lousy as fuck. I took care of the bandits. Really? Anyone could say that. Do you have proof? <sighs> Should I go back and cut off their heads? No. I don't think that will be necessary. I believe you. You have done the merchants and the city a great service. Harrod will be content, I think. I'm sure he would. Hey, you! About this weapons dealer. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people. 
And that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. About those missing people? Yes? I know where the missing people are. What have you found out? A man named Raven dragged them off to a remote part of Corinus. What makes you so sure? I read his orders. He's got the local bandits working for him. Here. Good. You did a great job. I had feared that we might have to resign ourselves to never knowing. I am ready to join the Ring of Water. So you delivered your message to Lord Hagen? No, not yet. Make haste then. Go to him. I think your message is very important. All right, Kalek. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. If I get something in return for donating a thousand pieces of gold. I want to make a donation to Adonos. A donation to the Church of Adonos would alleviate a part of the sins which you may have committed, my son. How much can you give? I've got a hundred gold pieces. I bless you in the name of Adonos for this generous act. May the path you follow be blessed by Adonis. I, uh, I bl may the. I want to make it. But, uh, how much? I've got. I may the. It doesn't seem to do anything. I want to make it. But donate. How much? I've got I made the No, nah, it's not doing anything. Four hundred gold down the drain, oh well. About the plants. If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I've got all the plants I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg, right? By Adonis. It's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you could make a decent alchemist after all. Right, so let's deliver the wolf skins and become Constantino's apprentice. Hmm, what do you want? Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. Hakon told me how you handled the bandits. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while. And a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. I can learn opening locks from Forbin, but uh, I'm gonna make well, do the most expensive version of it, with you completely. and uh, learn it through Ramirez, which will oh, cost me 300 see. gold. I'd have gone about it differently. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. About the wolf skins, I've got them here. Great. I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And what do you think? 
Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? It's not what I heard. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? I had hoped you would choose me, but if that's the way you want it... Does that mean you'll vote for me? If none of the other masters objects, yes. But you would certainly have made a good hunter. I know. But you have to be, well, you have that to have a bit of the uniqueness in the uh, different kind of playthrough. I wouldn't be so sure. Um, let me. He never would have thought of that himself. The... He really didn't deserve that. Um, shall I give him the order? That's really not I my problem. So why won't they listen to me? But no, he insisted he knew better. I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't be so sure. He listened to the wrong we'll give people. Give the orders to him. You mustn't that believe one. everything you hear. And... It's not what I heard. I've heard that a one will be evidence for Martin. I agree with Should you completely. Enough. Halt! Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. He never would have thought of that himself. You dare stand in the way of a representative of Inos? Um, no, of course not. The entrance is open to the Chosen of Inos. Pray to Inos for this sacrilege. Yes, Chosen One. Which is another reason why... I think the path of Balear is the fire I know better off myself. Uh, I think it's essential Nobody to keep ever the asked order. For my opinion. So I will keep that I never one knew that. Where did you pick that I'll up? Give then? him the ring of axes. That's been known a long time. Let, let me first I try this if is gonna it's change. enough to show his sword. Is it really true? That's the first I've heard of it. Do you really believe that? Now that's typical, isn't it? That's ah, it you again! So, you actually managed to get years. to the upper quarter! Where did you get that robe? I have passed the test of fire. Incredible! That's what I then what is happening here must be the will of Inos. There are some things you must heed here. Otherwise, you will wind up outside Either as fast as you got in here. You're only allowed to enter the merchant's building. Don't tell this to anyone. You can recognize them by the signs over the door. These are bad Just times. so there are no misunderstandings. The other buildings belong he to important citizens. To there is nothing there for you, even if you much. are now a member of the Order of Innos. The important it's citizens of this town live in this quarter, so treat them with These respect. Do we understand each other? Sure. Everybody knows by now. Where can I find Lord Hagen? He's in he the town hall, at the end of the upper quarter. But you will not be admitted there without a good reason. He can't keep anything to himself. Has anything exciting happened well, lately? That's typical, no. isn't it? You don't say. Normally, he says a different thing. Interesting. That's not what I heard. Halt! Only men who are in service to the king may enter the town hall. I am a fire magician. Yes, of course. Forgive me, chosen one, but I am only doing my duty. I know that you do, Mr. Paladin. I have already heard of you. Lothar has reported that you wish to speak with me. You are the stranger who has demanded the Eye of Innos. I am Lord Hagen, Paladin of the King, warrior of our Lord Enos, and Commander-in-Chief of Corinus. I have much to do, so do not waste my time. Tell me, rather, why you are here. The hosts of evil are gathering very close to here, in the Valley of Mines. In the Valley of Mines? We have dispatched an expedition there. We are also aware of reports that say the pass there is occupied by orcs. But thus far, no news has reached me of an army of evil. What army is that supposed to be? 
an army of dragons who have gathered hosts of their minions around them. Dragons? According to the old scriptures, it is many centuries since dragons were last sighted. Tell me, why should I believe a word you say? But the question isn't whether you can believe me. The question is whether you can afford not to believe me when I tell the truth. As long as I have no proof, I cannot afford to send even more men there. So you want me to bring you proof? Precisely. Cross the pass and go to the Valley of Mines. Once there, seek out the expedition, and when you have found them, speak to Commander Garond. If anyone knows the situation there, he will. If he confirms your words, then I am prepared to help you. Does that mean you'll hand over the Eye of Inos to me? The Eye of Inos? Good. Bring me proof. Then I shall see to it that you are permitted to wear the amulet. Then can I say I've got your word on this matter? You can, for you have it. What do you know about the Eye of Inos? It is a divine artifact. In the old prophecies, it is mentioned in connection with dragons. However, the scriptures also say that only a Chosen of Inos can wear it. I am a Chosen of Inos. Then perhaps it will be possible for you to wear the amulet. How am I supposed to get across the pass? I shall give you the key to the gate to the pass. However, you will have to find your own way through the ranks of the orcs. May Inos protect you. Why have you come to Corinus? We are on an important mission for the kingdom. Our orders come directly from King Robar. I told you that we have sent an expedition to the Valley of Mines. That is the reason for our presence. What are your men doing in the Valley of Mines? All right. Since you're going there anyway, I might as well tell you. This is all about the magic ore. It can decide the outcome of the war. Without enough weapons made of magic ore, the King's army does not stand the slightest chance against the elite warriors of the orcs. And the ore mines here on the island are the last to which we still have access. As soon as our ship is fully laden with ore, we shall sail back to the mainland. The war against the orcs is going badly then. I have already told you too much. Very well. Alright, so I've literally died three times more than the first chapter of the playthrough of Venus, which was without height of power. Which is interesting. Since height of power does make the critters three times stronger. Anyways, let me find Fernando. Welcome, traveler. Looking for a fine potion? I have a large selection and reasonable prices, and my potions are much better than the stuff that Zurus sells. Show me your wares. It's my pleasure, Reverend Brother. Nothing of interesting. Goodbye. Go away, don't tell me that. Everybody knows by now. And it's going to get even worse. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Hey you, wait a minute. You're headed for the Valley of Mines, aren't you? And? Here's a bargain. You give me a report on what's going on with the ore, and for that I will get Say you like a rune stone. I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. How's business? Not so great. Back when the barrier was still in place, times were better. The prisoners would scrape boxes and boxes of ore from the mines, and my ships then brought it to the mainland. On their way back, they bought food and other wares. But now we're cut off from the mainland, and I have to rely on the farmers for supplies. 
That's not what my husband thinks. How do you make a living now? Right now I'm living off my savings. But if I can't get back into business, times are gonna get rough for me. That's an open You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? The swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now, I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted from me was food supplies. Business was really slow, so I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. What will you pay me if I let you go? You know I'm not doing too well. I can't give you much. I'll give you 200 gold coins and a valuable ring. That will have to do. Will you give me the incriminating material now? Well, all right, agreed. Fine, here's your gold. And the ring. We're even now. How do you make a living now? I don't know. But at any rate, no more shady dealings for me. That much is clear. I do hope, darling, I to still seen it with my own eyes. send him to our prison. It's not what I heard. You know, even not, not really matter because what I do need is that empty blank rune stone. Now, whatever it takes, I have to wait till I'm re have returned from the valley for the first time. I lost enter, ch enter chapter three. That's no secret. Hey, that's all just. I have a message for Master Isgaroth. He guards the shrine in front of the monastery. If you run this errand for me, you get to choose your own reward. I couldn't get away with that. I'll do it. Good. Then take the message and choose one of these spell scrolls. When you have delivered the message, I shall reward you accordingly. I choose the healing spell. Good. So be on your way to Master Isgaroth now. I am ready to join the Ring of Water. So you delivered your message to Lord Hagen? Yes, but he sent me to the Valley of Mines so I could get him proof of my words. You must decide what you want to do next. To me, it was important that he should get the message. Now it's up to him to act or to wait for your proof. As far as you are concerned, you have proven that you are indispensable to us. You shall be one of our children and go forth into the world in our name to do the bidding of Adanos. I can sign to you this ring of water. May it help you find your allies and together with them, preserve the balance of this world. You are the first fire magician among our children. I am especially happy about that. May Adanos protect you and now Go and meet your brothers. They will await you in the tavern, the Dead Harpy, and accept you into our community. You probably know the tavern. It lies on the way to Onar's farm. Do not forget to wear your ring, so your brothers will recognize you as one of their own. So let's get the package to Nagur. Get the the special wares, if you will, from Helmut. I'm no better off. I brought the package. Well done. I'll see exactly you to it I that I sell it. Come back tomorrow. That was obvious all along. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Do you? That was obvious all along. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Why haven't I heard about this before? 
Those are all just rules. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Hey. Hey, if you want to buy fish, come to my booth tomorrow, okay? I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. I don't believe that. Uh, oh, okay. Let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? Make me an offer, then. All right, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? Well, I could offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those fish. All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. That would be a problem. All right, so let's get connected. Hardly with know what to go anymore. That's nothing. I'm not telling you anything new. As much. I've got your sword. Ah, that's much better than fighting with an old stick. I'm no better off myself. Go on like this forever. So why won't they listen to me? That will only cause more trouble. That's all just gossip. Nobody ever asks for Those are all just rumors. If I. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. It was just like you said. I've heard we got a young man. Someone's got to do the work. That'll only cause more. Show me that? your maps. You won't find better in that monastery of yours. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. Now, like I ex tried to explain in the uh, previous episode with the uh, monastery, the trial of fire, the second part, you know, if you follow the statuettes of Enos very carefully, it will lead you to the final point, you know, or already showed you guys where to find that specific uh, location. But still, you know, if you don't know the way, the shrine map will help. Most definitely. Hey, you got no business here, understand? Who are you? That's none of your business. I'm the boss here, okay? The boss of what? Of those chests? Hey, the storeroom was under my supervision, got it? So piss off, or else I'll bash in your skull. Just you wait, you son of a bitch. Nobody threats me and get away with it. something to drink and uh, clear my nose because uh, holy shit so uh, just give me like a minute or two so I'll be right back
not where my husband is at. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Who says things like that? He never would have thought of that himself. Everybody knows by now. He doesn't see that. Who says things like that? Now that's typical. It's really not my problem. Don't tell this to anyone. It's a bad business. Everybody knows by now. I'm no better off myself. says things like that. There's nothing you can do about it. That's not where my husband's at. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Also, I oh, instantly went to the toilet. Um, the thieves killed, right? Don't tell this to anyone. Um, I think I must wait until Nagura sells his package before I can get access to the thieves guild Says things like that. He never would have thought of that himself. I agree with you completely. Nothing's ever going to change that. That's what I've always said. If he doesn't see that. I can't help it. There you are That's again. Harrod has yeah. finally finished that damn assignment for the paladins. That means that I can now offer you some new weapons. That's been known a long time. Are you interested? That's not what my husband thinks. Show me your wares. It is an honor to me that a representative of our holy church should show an interest in my ways. It's a bad business. Now that's typical, isn't it? I'd have gone about it differently. Everybody knows by now. I'm no better off myself. Is it really true? Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order Are you interested of the in this package Hagen, of weeds? The following I decree is hereby enacted. That's not swamp weed, is it? Law is immediately oh, take it away, son of improvidence. If the city guards catch me with that, they'll throw me into jail. You will fare no better. The Honorable Lord if you're planning to sell this stuff, I advise you, leave this town. Try and get rid of it somewhere outside the city walls. And here, all you can get for it is trouble galore. Someone's gotta do the work. Can you make me a prophecy? A bad yes. Time has progressed. That's and I shall I give you a prophecy in return for a few coins. It's all just gossip. How much? For a paltry 100 coins. Like I shall risk a glance through time for you. There's nothing you can do about it. Tell me about the future. All right, I son of bravery. I shall now enter a state of trance. Was obvious all along. Are you ready? That's an open secret. A mercenary. Don't tell me you didn't know that. He will need you. A terrible murder. The Don't tell I, me you didn't know that. The sinister henchmen. They are coming. Searching for you. A guardian will fall. But the three shall unite. Only then shall you receive yours. what is yours. I never knew that. That's all. There's nothing more I can I see. Hadn't seen it with my own eyes. 
I've got a new tobacco blend. Nobody will learn anything from me. Let me try your tobacco. That's what I've always said. I agree with you completely. That's not what I heard. No, I'm afraid this mixture does not agree Tell with me. me. You didn't know that. But maybe you'll find somebody else who really appreciates this uh, uh, delicacy. I agree with you completely. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. All right, so let's sleep till the next morning. Just that should make sure that Nagu sell the package. Hey. Do you have fifty gold pieces? Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. All right, so let's take care of these little buggers. E, delighted in all Wait, the bottom. beings equally. But so great was the wrath of Beliar. Hey, you! Can I become your apprentice now? As far as I'm concerned, yes. All that matters to Herod is that you will be able to defend the city if it is attacked by orcs. And it looks like you've got him convinced of that. Bosper has been quite reluctant to comment on your qualities. I suppose he would like to take you on as an apprentice himself. But he still agreed in the end. Thorben is a very religious man. He has given you his blessing. That is a good sign. As for Mateo, he's singing your praises high and low. This means you have the approval of all the masters. Are you ready to begin your apprenticeship with me? Yes, master. Oh, all right then. I hope I'm not going to regret this decision. From this moment, you may consider yourself my apprentice. What are my tasks? I realize that I cannot expect a young man to spend all day indoors with me. From time to time, you shall bring me the plants I need. In return, I shall instruct you in the art of alchemy. You can buy the bottles from me. Most of the ingredients, however, you will have to get for yourself. And I expect you to behave properly as a citizen of this town. What plants am I supposed to bring? I shall buy everything you bring to me, and I'll pay the usual price. For mushrooms, however, I shall pay you a special price. You wanted mushrooms? Why are those things so important? Even though you are my apprentice, I won't tell you everything. I've got a few murky mushrooms here. Ah! Those are the best. No. Well done. Here's your gold. And here are some of the others. These are not quite as good as murky mushrooms, but I'll take them anyway. I didn't want to sell the murky mushrooms, QQ. Show me your wares. Give them back. Three goblin berries. Ooh, expensive. And so he bade Enos the King Soros I will get for sure. The Goblin Berry or the Dragon Root. Don't really need it at the moment. The Divine Book of the Stars I need later as a quest. Instruct me in the art of alchemy. All right. Basics first. Each potion is made of plants. They possess all kinds of powers. They do nothing but put all their power into growth. And modifying this power is what the art of alchemy is all about. 
To prepare a potion at the alchemist's bench, you need a laboratory flask. You need to know the correct formulation and have the appropriate ingredients. There are quite a few formulations I could teach you. Potions which restore your lost strength, and even potions which affect your strength permanently. You cannot learn everything at once. What recipes can you teach me? I know a few. Make your own choice. No, I don't want the elixir of strength just yet. The essence of magic is the simplest of magic potions. Take fire nettles and meadow knotweed and heat them slowly. I know of... Since you can already prepare an essence of magic, with a little effort you should be able to produce an extract as well. You need to put the right kind of feeling into preparing that brew. Use fireweed and meadow knotweed for this potion. What I know of No essence of mana, too bad. Now the reason why he pays a special price for murky mushrooms, also known as dark mushrooms, is due to the fact that after consuming a certain amount, I'm not quite sure how many exactly, but after consuming a certain amount, you will get five months for free. Oh, 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 pardon. <laughs> Hey! Elvritch will work for you again from now on. I can only hope that he won't disappear again when the next little tart waves her skirt at it. Take this gold as a reward for bringing back my apprentice. I found a letter from your Lucia. What? Give it here! No! I don't believe this. No, I just can't believe it. She just can't leave me behind like this. Take this letter back. I don't want it. I firmly believe that she's going to come back to me someday. I ain't gonna die an old man. An old, sad, and lonely man. Oh but dear. the human Bart and the beast continued. waged war upon the land of Adonis, and the wrath of the gods was with them. Where did you pick that Which up? Means he will get spawned near the. I never knew that. In between the wolves, so this is going to be quite tricky. He's gonna most likely die. Good thing I learned most of them after me. Well, half of the pack. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out.
Another one of those things. Nothing to be had there. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city, holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. Thanks for the uh, hunt. Nothing to be had there. Gonna take care of the bandits over here. For now, later it will be infested with orcs. But that's about uh, chapter 5, I believe. Yeah, chapter 5. But definitely after the dragon hunt. Say hi to the bandits.
Rest in peace, bandit. Rest in peace. Your raiding days are over. Zardus' tower we go. And since I'm going to Zardus' tower, it will give my character an opportunity to pray at the shrine of Balear. Gain a bit of extra gold in his pockets in exchange for a bit of a uh, bit of HP. Because gold is what makes the, pa the, uh, the servants of Balear strong, which is very showable in uh, Gothic 3. On all three paths, basically. Belly are most. Especially when it comes to the position. <laughs> Letting that, you know, people pay in order to keep the rat from Belly are away. Well done. All right. One dirty beast so much left. for you, filthy beast. But of course, the black mages in Gothic 3 use those gold in order to learn Balear's magic. But Balear's magic is not cheap. And once they learn it, they will resell it for more gold. Because the Ashishin only care about gold. Got a lot of bugginess in this game sometimes. It's already paid about 400 to Adenos, and I'll pay the remaining 600 later. Although, it, it, it seems to be pointless, you know. But with, you know, the Fire Mage, at least it got me some experience, slash, uh, some mana, and some permanent stats, you know. So far with Adenos, nothing. Hey! I gave Vatras your letter. I didn't expect anything else. Thanks. You're welcome, man.
my bed is in use, so I can't sleep till midnight. And thus I cannot pray. <clears throat> and there they are. Not yet. Are you still exhausted? And how? I told Zardis everything. Now I'm going to sleep for a while. Like one or two days or longer. Well, that's fine. Hey, we'll you! The one in, uh, inside the uh, Thieves Guild quarters. Have you talked to Lester yet? Yes, I have peppered him with questions. He was able to tell me a lot, but he is completely exhausted. It's almost a miracle that he survived this escape at all. I have sent him to bed for now. What did he tell you? Nothing good, I'm afraid. He has seen not only a dragon, but also men in black, hooded cloaks. And? If these men exist, then their presence will pose a possible threat. And I don't like that. Here, take my ring. It will protect you against magic. Very well. Alright, so let's see if Nagoya sold his a package. I wanted to pray at the Shrine of Balear, but it's a day and the bed is in use. So I can't sleep till midnight, which is necessary in order to pray at the Shrine of Balear. <laughs> at least in Gothic 1 and 2. Well, Gothic 1 has no Shrines of Balear. At least as far as I know, and Gothic 2 do have them, but a few. And then Gothic 3, also I have a few, you know, not that many. But certainly more than Eno statues, which in this case is the other way around. Ignaz and purchase five spell scrolls of his oblivion for one of the fire mages. You didn't get that from me. Halt! No one may enter the storeroom. That's the first I've heard of. Why can't anyone enter the storeroom? The Honorable Lord Hagen has confiscated the goods for the King's army. Hey! That's terrible. Show me your wares. I must beg your pardon for my poor selection. A man in your position is certainly used to better. That's what I've always said. Where did you pick that up then? 
That's terrible. That's been known a long time. I already thought as much. That's not what I heard. I don't believe this is gonna change. Really? How interesting. I already thought as much. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Just give me a bed here. It's not what I heard. I've got my own opinion about that. Do you really believe that? So why won't they listen to me? Nothing surprises me anymore. Let's see if I can give the orc weapon to her. I doubt it. Oh. To me. I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. You did it after all. Good man. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. Too bad you've decided on another path. I could have really used you. Are you still working for the Paladins? I finished the commission from Lord Hagen. Now I'm making magic ore blades for him. But for pay this time. But I also have the time again to make a few weapons on the side for the merchants in the marketplace. So, if you're looking for a good blade, you should try them. Tell me more about magic ore blades. Creating a magic blade is a very complicated and expensive process, but the result is a blade that's easy to handle and practically indestructible. The blade is certainly of good quality, but it will only show its true power in the hands of a paladin. A paladin sword is consecrated by Inos. As a result, the magic blade becomes an enchanted weapon that does incomparable damage. I want to buy a magic ore blade. I can only sell magic blades to the paladins. And even then, only one each. Too bad. Right, so let's quickly go to Ignaz and buy five people. oblivion spell scrolls. Now that's typical, isn't it? Instruct me in the art of alchemy. What do you want to know? What? I don't need essence of healing. Show me your wares. I don't need your potions, though. Too bad you can't learn me the strongest mana type. Those are the ones that I will make since the other two. Except for the middle one, which I can make. Hmm. Let me make a few potions. I'll do that, but uh. <laughs> Constio. Uh, an empty. Em uh, an empty alchemist bench at any rate. Damn hiccups. He had better shut up. Now hey, you! Show me your fish. He can't keep anything to himself. himself. The path of virtue is long and rocky. That's now that's not what typical, I typical isn't it? Only He'd better shut up. Right and it's gonna get even worse. Problem. I can't I can take care of everything for everybody. Nice. Right, so I will tell you. Uh, has successfully sold the package. Why haven't I heard about this before? Hey! But no, he insisted he knew better. I now belong to the Ring of Water. Great. So can I have my Aquamarine ring back? Sure, here it is. Exactly I hope I it proved useful to you. I'm glad to know you're one of us now. I guess you want your gear now. 
So pay attention. As if I didn't have we are going to have a secret meeting soon in Orland's Tavern. Is it really true? Meet us there as soon as you can. We'll give you your gear there. Very well. Really, how interesting. So. Hey, you! Did you sell the wares then? No, not yet. These things take their time. I want to get a good price after all. Ready. You should have known that. Nothing amazing. Is it really true? And he works all day too. Those are all just rumors. And he works all day too. I can't take care of everything for everybody. I found the dish that Lucia stole from you. Great! High time I got it back! You can't rely on that. Don't you want to know what became of Lucia? No! Why? I have got the dish back, haven't I? I have managed without Lucia so far, and I will in the future. Why would I try to make her come back, huh? I'm staying out of it. What about a reward? You get to have a good time with one of my girls for free. What do you say, eh? You tell me. Agreed. Here's your dish. Thanks. Go to Nadja. She'll accompany you upstairs. I couldn't care less. Hey, you. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. Wanted to do the homo hoopa. Failed miserably. That's no secret. These are bad times. The next it's time for you. I won't tell her a thing from now on. No, I have to skip them through uh, due to YouTube reasons. Because YouTube these days, if I hadn't seen you know. it with my own eyes. Bob, you should most definitely have sold the package by now. Everyone Otherwise, I will kick his ass and sell it to Baldrum. There's nothing you can do about it. Did you sell the wares then? Yeah, but for less than I thought. I only got 300 gold pieces. Part of that goes to my employers. And Cardiff gets his usual percentage. Plus the gold for your commission. Which leaves a total of 240 gold pieces. We'll split those as agreed. Here's your part. You did good work. I've passed that on to my employers. What comes of that is out of my hands. Hey, you! Hey, you, come over here. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted on talking to you. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's Fish Shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. What did the guy look like? I could tell you that, but you need to pay for it, my friend. I need information. What did the guy look like? Well, rather tall, dark-skinned and strong, but no uniform. Somehow menacing. And his face? His face? When he looked at me, I was glad that it wasn't me he had come for. There was something scary in his eyes. Anyway, I think you should go see him. This is bound to be interesting. Yeah, the question is, for whom? I see what the bugger wants. Who says things like that? It's the first I've heard of it. He listened to the wrong people. He thinks it's as easy Don't as that. Don't say you didn't know that. Hey! Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want from me? That isn't important. What is important is what you've done. You have remained loyal even if you weren't aware of it. Some benefactors have become aware of your loyalty, and they are offering you a chance, so use it. Hey, just tell me why you're here. I have a gift for you. Everything else is up to you, stranger. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Who are you? I'm called Attila. But is my name important? Our names are meaningless. You should know that best, stranger. <laughs> With you, it's better to watch out who you tell what. Nobody wants to know. That's I've not heard what I'm asking. Let's go. Do you do things too much. Nobody will learn anything from me. Now that's typical. That's nothing new. Hey! You hardly know who to believe these days. I've got some information about the orcs. Let's hear it. They're stuck in the Valley of Mines, and it looks like they're going to stay there. To be on the safe side, the paladins are guarding the pass. Good. If you find out but more, no, let me know. He he knew better. I know why the paladins are here. Really? Tell me. The paladins are here to get the magical ore from the Valley of Mines, not because they expect the orcs to attack the city. As soon as they've got the ore, they're going to return to the mainland. Good. If you find out more, let me know. As to that orc outside of town? Yes. Don't worry about him. The city guard is going to take care of him. Thanks for the information. The way it looks, we have all the time in the world for building our ship. But no, well, he insisted not all better. the entire world, the entire time in the world. But a bit of time. Depends on. How long it for me it takes to complete the game. Because as soon as I leave Corinnus and beat the Undead Dragon, the Orcs have captured the citizens of Corinnus. Do you know anyone with an eye patch? I know plenty of men with eye patches. There's someone roaming the land of Corinus who seems to know you rather well. Can't imagine who. I have no dealings with landlubbers. But... Leave it be. I'm really not interested. Didn't know for a fact that you could get XP for that. Even a pro learns new things every single playthrough. Nothing there. It's not ready nothing there. I, need to go. And I don't have the claw yet. So I, really I know don't. nothing about picking locks. Have to pray a shrine yet. Because I'm pretty sure if I pray now, I will get damage. I mean, I'm trying.
mana was not really a worthy one. Even though one mana for 250 pieces of gold. Every time you consume a certain amount of murky mushrooms you get five. Not bad. Depends, you know, if you need mana or Hear not. ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is here. I'll never get this open without the right key. The imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone hey, what are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you. So, out with it. What are you doing here? Attila gave me a key. That's why I'm here. So what do you want of me? Wouldn't you like to know? Keep your cool. Go see Cassia. You're expected. Have you lost your way? I don't think this is the right place for you. If anything happens to you here, no one's going to help you. So be careful. Like you would, you would be a threat to me, Ramirez. Hey, you! I see you received our gift. I'm Cassia. Alright, Cassia. So tell me why I'm here. You caught our attention by winning the trust of some of our friends. And we want to offer you a chance. You can join us. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us. But nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. What do you know about the missing people? Why would that interest you? I want to find out what happened to them. When you emerge from the sewers, swim down along the coast to the right for a while. You're bound to find your answers there. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us. To anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, if you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous. For dexterity is the key to your abilities. And what if I don't want to join you? You're missing a one-time chance, but you can go. And don't even think about betraying us. You would bitterly regret that. Okay, I'm in. You've made a wise decision. If you succeed in proving yourself, you may join our ranks. If you would like to learn the thieves' abilities first, feel free. You're going to need them. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. Can you teach me? Sure, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready. Show me how to pick pockets. If you want to empty somebody's pockets, distract him. Just start talking to him. While you're talking to him, size him up. Look out for bulging pockets, jewelry, or leather straps around the neck. And most of all, note how keen the fellow seems. Robbing a drunk day laborer is not the same as stealing from a watchful merchant. If you're too clumsy, of course, he'll smell a rat. So above all, keep your cool. All right, so let's learn a lock picking. The most expensive manner. So well, I wish you well. success then, and be careful, whatever you do. Oh, 
And one more thing, I don't care who you are up there and with whom you work. Here below, you're only one of us, a thief. No more and no less. Ramirez is the uh, most expensive trainer when it comes to learning how to open locks. The secondary option is getting it from uh, Thorburn the Carpenter for either 200 gold pieces or for free if you know how to pick pockets and have about de 30 dexterity in order to get Lamar's ledger. But uh, so there is basically a free option, a 200 gold pieces option, and a 300 gold piece option. And with this one, I'm gonna take the 300 gold one because of the fact that I've already done the free one as well as the 200 gold. Can you teach me something? I can show you how to pick a lock. That'll cost you a mere 150 gold pieces. Wasn't it supposed to be 300? Now I'm a bit confused. Okay, I'll pay. Here's the gold. Great, I'm at your service. Show me how to pick a lock. Lock picking is the high art of thieves. You need a lot of feeling and intuition, and a couple of good lock picks. Some chests, however, are fitted with special locks, which can only be opened with the corresponding key. So, Kneeling in front of the lock, turn your lock pick to the left and right. If you twist it too fast or too hard, it will break. But the more adept you become, the easier you'll find it to handle the tool. Gotta test it, you know. Listen, you can't be serious, can you? You're bagging our gold. You're trying to steal from us. Don't get all worked up over a couple of coins. I mean, this bit of stuff here, is that all of your booty? That's all the Thieves Guild of Corinus has to offer? Who says our booty is stored down here? I couldn't quite believe that either. So where did you hide your treasures? In a very safe place. I see. All right, you can keep the gold, but I'll keep an eye on you. So don't overdo it. I'm gonna test something with Bosper's bow. Tell her a thing from now on. 
That's what I've always said. Right, so that instantly got the martial edge, yeah? Here's your money back. Don't worry. Laris has already taken care of this for you. That bastard is a friend of yours, huh? Oh well, none of my business. Have a nice day. Some miserable pickpocket has stolen my ledger. You didn't have anything to do with this business, did you? Me? No. Yes, yes, all right. Just get out of here. Just gossip. There's nothing you can do about Please it. Don't. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's check the other guards. This is a quick test. I'd have thought about it differently. But Adonor saw that this way. Nothing could exist at all. No light and no darkness. That's not what I heard. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. But that's terrible. That's an open secret. Nope, they don't, don't give tell a shit. this to anyone. I don't believe that. That's what that's I've always said. Test, um... And he works all day, too. Now that's typical, isn't it? That's an open secret. Someone's got to do the work. Everybody knows by all now. All right. That's what I've always said. There, where Adonis stood, was a place in which... Look what I have here. Hmm? But this is Lamar's ledger. Well, what are you planning to do with that? Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now. Except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. I thought I already done this. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. they prefer to get plastered on free beer. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, uh, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this feller that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. 
I've got your silver. Really? Here, take this as a reward. A very special beer. This is my last keg. Here's the book. Oh, thanks. I mean, you saved my butt. Lamar can get rather ugly. Here, take this as a reward. It's the very last drop. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Show me your wares. Maybe I accidentally saw Valentino's ring. And Enos, um, in his wisdom. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Will it ever change? I can't believe that. You hardly know who who I hey! What else do you want? You've got my gold. Go away. I'll never get this open without the right key. That's the guy from the uh, Red Lantern. Okay, good to know. Oh, wait. Totally forgot to get the uh, Oblivion spell. They'd already got the ring with, you know, Valentino. Hey! Apparently not. I met Valentino, and I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, I found this ring on him when our little disagreement had been settled. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who beats him up. I can't believe that. I really thought that I did this one already. Apparently not, though. Show me your wares. Buy five of them. When you are a fire mage, that is. Otherwise, you don't get the quest. Thanks. We quickly drop the book and uh, fold it, repurchase it, made it for the XP. And uh, then I will go to the Thieves Guild, deliver the ring, and Join the Thieves Guild, and that's yeah, basically that. why the episode will end. Hey, you! I've got Lamar's ledger right here. Where did you get that? That shouldn't interest you so much as the fact that your name is in it. Give it to me. What will you give me then? I have no money to spare and can give you nothing but my heartfelt gratitude. Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left.
Really, how interesting. Have a safe trip, honorable magician. Nobody will Thank learn you. anything from me. Who Nothing surprises like me anymore. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. The more you pick pockets, the really not more happy you will get along the way. Nothing's ever going to change that. Difficult, I can't do yet. I just do about 100. Nothing and surprises me anymore. Do about 120. Do you really think? Or nearly impossible with 120. I'm not quite sure. Some problems solve themselves. But I'll Come back again that later. That I, I'm sure to have something new for you then. I'll just pick those that I know Let's I wait can and see pick what it. Hey, you! Hey! I bless you in the name of you. Hey! I've got Constantino's ring. Congratulations. You passed your initiation test. Now you're truly one of us. Take this key. It opens the door to the hotel. Then you won't have to swim every time. Furthermore, you should know that we have a secret sign, a particular nod. Exactly. When you talk to the right people and make this sign, they'll know you're one of us. So where are you hiding your loot? Come on, you didn't really think I would tell you that. You'll have enough opportunity to get your hands on some loot of your own. Remember, those who are too greedy end up with nothing. Have you got a job for me? Yes, there is a matching set of chalices. Six of them. King Robar once captured them during a campaign, but he sacrificed many men so he could get them. That's why they're called the blood chalices. Each of the chalices by itself is not all that valuable but the six of them all together are worth a tidy sum. Where are these chalices? They're here in town. They belong to the rich merchants in the upper quarter. Bring them to me. In the meantime, I'll try to find a buyer for them. What's in it for me? Either half the profit, or you get to pick a special item from my booty. From my booty. Well, well, you know the sign. Oh, I'm impressed. Have you got a job for me? Hmm, there is a thing I'd like to have, but I haven't found one so far. What can I get you? A sextant. Bring me a sextant. I'll pay you a good price for it. Where is it worth the trouble to break in? In the upper quarter of town, of course. But if you want to break into somewhere up there, wait until night. Everyone's asleep then, except for the city guards. They patrol at night. I know one of them, Wombo. He's the only one interested in gold. He's expensive, but once you've paid him, you don't have to worry anymore. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.
the episode even though it was a very long one probably most likely um, I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless uh, feel free to thumbs it up in order to unlock the hardcore run and if you do like it uh, subscribe to my channel so that you'll be uh, notified if you had the notification bell that is notified that uh, every video that I upload you will be notified then so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did let me know in the comment section down below and if there are things that I could do better you know uh, make sure to leave them also in the at the comment section down below and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. So good day to you guys and I hope to see you guys next time.